What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of this dog bathtub uh, and explain everything that you need to know about it. In addition to that, I'll also talk about one thing that I think that you should know before buying it. Uh, this thing has saved us a ton of headaches and kept our house a whole lot cleaner with bath time. So I'm looking forward to jumping into this one. Okay, so the way it works, pretty simple. Uh, you can see that there is the uh, dog harness here. This is how they tell you to actually set this thing up. Uh, to make it as safe as possible. Uh, so that's, you know, obviously you tie the dog to that end. They give you an extra hose. I actually don't, we don't need it uh, just the way our bath is. So we're good there. And then there is the drain. So basically you can, you know, wash uh, your dog in here. And then when you are finished, you pull this plug here and then it will drain down right there, right into uh, the bathtub. In addition to that, they have these two pockets. So here's one. This basically just holds like doggy shampoo. They have one on the other end. We, we really don't use it because it doesn't make sense. It's facing a wall. Um, but it's just nice when you're, you know, actually doing your work and everything that you have this uh, available right there. It keeps it all uh, within reach. In addition, this is 35 inches off the ground. So um, I'm about 5'10". So when I'm in here, slight little bend over while cleaning uh, our, our pug, actually. Uh, have to do that a little bit, but not nearly as much as if it was on the ground, which was kind of a nightmare and getting really old. So we decided to buy this thing and that's why. We're looking through the market through other ones. One of the biggest things was my wife was saying, well, let's try to get one that's light um, because, you know, she's just not able to lift as much as I am. So uh, this one weighs about 11 pounds and can support up to 130 pounds. So it can actually, uh, you know, support quite a bit uh, for its size and the weight that it is. So uh, that was actually a nice thing with it as well. So in terms of putting this thing away, uh, super, super easy to do. So basically what you do is you remove these bottom parts. Uh, you see this little right here, this. You remove this bottom part of the leg on both sides, right? Um, and then what ends up happening is you go up here and you pull. And you can see it kind of start to fold on the bottom right now. Uh, but basically it just folds up almost like, like a lawn chair would. So I obviously wasn't going to show all that. But basically I just removed the legs, folded it up. And you can tell how easy this thing is to store. It's really not all that big. Uh, there's my hand by comparison. Now, in terms of the thing to know before I let you go here, uh, the biggest thing with this, make sure that you measure your tub, the width of your tub. Um, a lot of people complain. They say, hey, this doesn't fit my standardized sub tub. Uh, this is a standard size tub, and it does fit this one. But I definitely recommend that you measure the bottom part of your tub to make sure this will fit uh, because if it doesn't fit, obviously you can't use it and you'll have to return it. That all said, nothing but positive things to say about this. We absolutely love this dog tub. Uh, it saves us a huge mess and we definitely recommend it.